How's everybody doing today? This is Noah with The Life of the Zigs, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to save hundreds of dollars by installing this attic fan. So let's get started. So when I'm talking about saving all that money, the way you need to do that is by installing this attic fan right here. What this will do is it'll reduce the humidity in your attic as well as the temperature in your attic because it's gonna be pulling all that cool air in from outside into your attic, cooling it down and then pushing the hot air out. So when I was looking for a fan to buy, there were two things that it had to have. First, it had to be able to attach to my gable vent so I didn't need to drill a hole in my roof. And the second is I wanted it to be able to connect to my phone. You may ask, why do I wanna connect it to my phone? Well, I wanna be able to monitor my attic and see one, how hot it is, and two, how high the humidity is. So when looking at the Quiet Cool fan, it comes with a lot of different features. The first feature is a total climate control. So it has a built-in thermostat and humidistat, which allows for you to set presets on your phone using the app so the fan can turn on and off. And whenever you wanna adjust them, you just go to your phone to do. The second thing is the two-speed motor. This allows the fan to run a high and at a low setting so that it'll run low if you don't need much air to be moved and it'll run at high if it's getting really hot or humid in the attic. So it'll save you money in that sense. And the last feature is it includes the vent covers which go around the fan to be able to totally seal off that gable vent and allow for air only to go out through the fan. I do wanna say that these fans come in three different models. The one I got was the lowest CFMs. I believe one comes in 2,500 CFMs and 3,000 CFMs. The way to tell which size you need is you measure the square footage of your attic and it'll let you know which one you need. My attic is roughly 800 square feet. So according to my calculations, 2,000 CFMs was plenty for my attic. Another thing you need to make sure your attic has is not only a way for the air to get out, which is that gable vent we have, but also a way to, for air to get in because if you're sucking air out, you need to replace that air somehow. So I have soffit vents, which will allow that air to come in, and then that gable vent will push the air out. It all depends on how your house is made. However, as long as you have a way for air to come in and a way for air to go out, it'll work perfectly fine. Real quick, I wanna show you guys everything you're gonna need to get this project done. The first thing being is the attic fan itself, which you can get on Amazon, which I'll make sure to link in the description down below, which retails for about 160 US dollars. The next thing you're gonna need is wire. This is 14-2 wire. Uh, that is the wire that I'm gonna need to tap into the junction box I have up in my attic. And the reason I say that is because you are gonna need to install an outlet for this attic fan. It doesn't need to be hardwired. All it needs to do is be plugged into some outlet up in your attic. So I'm choosing to go to the route of putting an outlet right next to the fan so that I don't need to run this cord anywhere crazy or run any crazy lengths or use an extension cord up in the attic because that's not good. You want to hard wire it in place and to do that you'll need your 14-2 wire, an outlet box, an outlet, your cover for it and wire nuts potentially. Now I'm gonna unbox this and show you guys what comes in the box. So what was in the box was a product catalog which showed other products that they feature. The owner's guide and how to properly install this fan. The attic fan itself which is right here. It has two mounting tabs over here and two mounting tabs right here. Then the cord for the attic fan itself and the controller box. It has four little rubber feet for these tabs uh, so it doesn't vibrate or cause those screws to come loose. It also comes with a bunch of different screws, different sizes so that whatever you need to go into, it'll properly be set. And last but not least, it comes with these little fins that go around the fan. Just like that, there's half of it it is just made out of cardboard, it's nothing fancy. However, that's all you need to make sure that the air will go only through this fan here and not around it. So while I have this fan out of the box, I'm gonna plug it in real quick and set it up in the app. And I just wanna see how powerful this fan is. All right, so I'm gonna take a peek in the owner's manual real quick, and I know they probably don't recommend to plug it in and test it. However, before I lug it all the way up in my attic, I wanna make sure that it works and that I can set the app up properly. So in the instruction manual here, it has a QR code to download the app. So I'm gonna download that real quick. So I'm downloading the app right now. That's what it looks like. 
I'm gonna let that download and plug it in and see if I get it to work. It wants me to create an account, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so I'm all logged in. I'm gonna plug the fan in and see what happens. So the fan's spinning right now on low, I believe. All right, so I see my fan here. Now I need to put it in pairing mode. To do this, I'm gonna push the pair button here. Now it's blinking. I'm gonna click the app and it's trying to connect. And it says, welcome to your quiet, cool, smart attic fan. Let's get started. I'm gonna hit next. It wants to know the kind. I have the blue one. Click that, I'm gonna hit next. It wants me to enter the serial number. So my serial number's over here on the fan, so I'm gonna put that in. I hit save, I hit next now. And then please uh, select your preferred temperature. So it's gonna be Fahrenheit or Celsius, so I'm gonna be Fahrenheit. And let's set your presets up, and it tells you a bunch of info about setting up your presets. So it says low temperature, low speed, turn on at 80 degrees. I'm gonna leave that at 80 and I'm gonna put my high, I'm gonna put that down probably to 100 for now. And now let's set my humidity preset. So I'm gonna set my humidity preset. I'm just gonna put it at 60 for now and we'll see how it runs. So this setting right here is asking when I want the fan to turn on for humidity. So it's gonna turn on at 55%. However, for the fan to shut off, it needs to get below 60%. Summer setup complete and it says create winter preset so you're going to set what temperature you want to turn on your fan in the winter so i'm just going to put it down to like 30 that's where it was at and i could always change it if i want and then humidity i'm going to have the fan turn off at like 60 again right now the fan is all set up uh, you can activate smart mode and that's the summer preset or the winter preset and you can activate a timer as well in the app. So real quick, I'm just gonna mess with my presets so that you can hear the fan run at high and at low. So currently this fan is working at low and obviously you can't feel the amount of air moving through, but it's a decent amount. It's a little loud, but I, I don't think you'd be able to hear it running in your attic at all. So now I'm gonna shut the low off and turn on the high and see what the high sounds like. So the high just kicked on and as you can hear, it's definitely louder and it's moving way more air now. Um, you know, I definitely feel a good out, amount of air moving, so it'll definitely keep my attic way cooler in the summer and then prevent any frost from happening in my attic in the winter. So now that I've showed you guys the fan, it's time to go up to the attic and install it. So we're currently up in the attic right now. First thing I'm going to do is tap into this outlet right here or junction box, whatever you want to call it. And I got to run it all the way over there. So I'm just gonna bring the wire down the joists here, right to here. So let's do that. I'm not gonna hook this in quite yet because I wanna leave the power on up to here. So I'm just gonna leave a leg floating and then once I'm all done with everything, I'll hook it in. All right, so now that we got our wire ran here, we're gonna put our outlet right here, and the fan's gonna go right here, so it's real close to it. Just like any standard outlet in America, you have your hot, your ground, and your neutral. So let's hook those up. Also, it's only 8 a.m. here, and it's already really hot. The outlet's installed. Now let's get to the fan. So this is the vent. I'm gonna be putting it on. As you can see, I got two issues here. First being, this wood extends about an inch and a half past. So I'll probably have to put a piece of two by four right here. And it should be flush then against the vent. Second being, this support beam for the A-frame is too close. So I'm gonna have to move it one back which isn't a big deal, but just a little more work. So let's get that done. All right, so that piece is down. I'm just gonna leave it out of the way for now while I work on the fan. So I got my two pieces of wood and I'm gonna put them up there. Need to get this foam out of the way first.
so the wood's up and now we're gonna put those rubber feet on the fan real quick on a side note all this white flower looking stuff you see is uh, diatomascus earth I have a bug problem right now so it's kind of helping with that so don't think I just poured flour all over my attic these are super easy to install got an adhesive to the back you just stick them on all right now that that's done time to put the fan up It has a couple more holes on the outside, so I'm just gonna reinforce it on there with a couple more screws. All right, so that's nice and snug now. Let's mount this box to the wall. It has a little Phillips head screw to unscrew. All right, I need to put a piece of wood here so that I can mount the box to it. 18. All right, now that the piece of wood's up, let's mount the box. Fans all mounted, plug it in. Got these sheets of cardboard now to kind of close it up a bit. So there's the fan. If you have duct tape, put it around that cardboard to kind of seal it in better. I don't have duct tape right now, but I will come back up here and put it. There's the controller. And there's the outlet. Now I just gotta hook in the outlet. First, let me put that beam back though. All right, all done, let's go do the outlet. So currently, as you can see, the power's off. I'm using this GFI tester to tell that. Power's off, and I need to tap this wire into it. So let's do that real quick. I do wanna say that this fan pulls about one to two amps, depending on what setting it's on. It's like one and a half, I think, when you do the calculations. So that's why it's able to be on a 15 amp circuit that has other stuff on it without any problem. So we got three wires coming in and then I'm gonna use pigtails to get to the outlet. All right, now you just have three wires to hook up to the outlet. So we got power to the outlet. Let's go check on the fan. So I just turned the fan on. You can hear it in the background. This is the current temperature right now. It's 77.6 degrees up here, it says. 81% humidity. So I'm gonna let the fan run for a bit. It's 924, give it a couple hours, and then I'm gonna check back on it and see what it's at. It's probably honestly maybe hotter because it's gonna get warmer as the day goes on, but we'll check it out and see. So it is currently 1.23 p.m. right now. It's been a few hours. Uh, it's gotten a lot hotter here. It's like 95 degrees outside with like 80% humidity. It's kind of ridiculous right now in central Virginia, but it's how this summer's going. The fan I had just continuous run on high for a couple hours and then it shut off. Then I went and turned the fan back on at 12.36 p.m., which according to this is just a screenshot of the app. It was about 106 degrees Fahrenheit and 43% humidity. So it, it definitely got warmer in the attic. However, the humidity dropped significantly, which is good. And then I checked it at 117 AM, which like I said, it's 124 right now. And it's 109 degrees in the attic and 37% humidity. So that humidity definitely decreased and probably will continue to maybe even decrease, but the temperature has rose definitely significantly from this morning, but it's also really hot out and that sun is beating directly on the roof. This is future Noah stating that at 6.13 p.m. that same day, it was down to 94.2 degrees Fahrenheit and 46% humidity. The biggest thing is that you're having that constant flow of air move throughout that attic, keeping it cooler than it normally is. It's not like it's gonna be 70, 75 degrees, whatever you keep your house at, but it'll definitely be cooler than what it initially was. Cause some attics can get up to 120, 130, even 140 degrees, depending on the day and what your insulation's like in your attic and shingles and stuff like that. The one thing I will point out with this fan that I didn't know that it wasn't gonna do was, it only works off of Bluetooth. It does not connect to Wi-Fi. I thought it connected to Wi-Fi and you could look at it from anywhere in the world. Not like I really needed to use that feature. However, it would have been a nice option to have. 
but it only connects to Bluetooth. So you gotta be within, you know, 20, 30 feet from it. I could have two floors in between me and it'll connect to it. So the only thing is you gotta be by your house or in your house to look at what temperature it's reading. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day.